Okay, welcome to the Snowflake JSON Challenge. If you can't derive insight from your raw JSON as quickly as what I'm about to show you, then I really think you need to take a look at Snowflake here. So the challenge in the scenario that we're going to throw out here is, is we want to quickly drive insight uh, from raw JSON data. And we're happy to provide this, this data source here, uh, just 4,999 JSON files. Uh, each one has a thousand records. Uh, it's got some some arrays in there, uh, varying arrays uh, and number of elements in each. And we're going to provide the SQL to actually run here, right? The record layout is pretty simple. Uh, every record looks like this. It's got some nesting and uh, and again, an array with varying numbers of elements that'll be within them, anywhere between one and five of those. And we're going to have an additional table for you to create and load just called state. Um, again, I'll give you the DDL and the SQL to insert here. Uh, but we really want to get to analyzing the data. We want to see how fast is it to go from just raw JSON to really performing analysis, right? And the question is, can you do it easily as what I'm about to show you? And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my Snowflake user interface here. I'm just going to create this table called state dim and load up these 52 records real quick. That should be very easy uh, for anyone to do. And then uh, I just want to show you here, we've staged up those, those 4,999 different files. So there they are, they're ready to be loaded. And if I do want to load them into my system, I simply create a table to house that JSON and then a copy statement to actually load the data. This copy statement is just going to say, hey, load all of those JSON files into the JSON table here. And a quick word about the cluster size that I'm using. I am using a large cluster here. And in Snowflake terms, a large cluster is eight different C32X large nodes from AWS. Each one of those nodes is only eight cores and 15 gig of RAM. Usually people start freaking out a little bit like, hey, isn't that kind of a low amount of, uh, of horsepower? And, and the question is, and the answer is no, right? Uh, we can actually actually get a lot more done with a lot less uh, hardware and, and, and less um, uh, uh, horsepower uh, throwing in any workload here. So this is how we're actually loading the, the JSON data here. So again, loading these just shy of 5,000 records. There they are. They're, they're done here, right? And now once I've loaded them, I can just do ANSI standard SQL against all of this, all of this data. So account star, I can actually show the SQL uh, uh, the actual data that's being uh, held in the tables here using the SQL statement. So here, for example, here's the raw JSON that I've got here. And I can start you know, looking at the elements using SQL. Uh, 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 you look at the elements of this JSON using just standard SQL here, right? Um, I'm getting out all the different parts from that SQL or from that JSON document. Um, here, I can actually cast things out as different data types. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for formatting certain values, but I still might want to flatten out arrays of elements like each one of these Records is going to have a different number of elements within this array, right? So here's three and two and here's another one with four and if I want to flatten things out I've got this lateral flatten function that I can do so I can just flatten things out here So here's a, a record with just you had two elements in it. Here's one with four so on and so forth, right? I can take this a step further and just create a view directly on top of this raw JSON, which is pretty easy to do Again, I'm leaving the JSON as is. I'm not flattening anything out into a table or physically moving anything into a, a flattened structure. Uh, but once I do that here, I've got a view on top of that raw JSON that looks like a view, like anything else, a view or a table. So any other BI uh, work that's being done now doesn't have to use that dot notation anymore. So here's getting a distinct uh, city count from those 5 million records, 578 distinct cities in here. I can do some text searching here. So for example, here's some SQL that will go after the 5 million records and return back my 721 records that have a certain um, uh, 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 text, uh, 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 text search in here. Again, nothing is pre-aggregated or anything like that. This is just running, running on on raw JSON data here, right? And again, this is ANSI standard SQL. So here's a, a SQL statement that we'd give you where we're doing a with clause, a, a, a subselect here. We're even doing some windowing functions and some other math that we're doing on here. And when I run this, it should come back pretty fast. And again, I just ran that on 5 million records of JSON, uh, raw JSON data, which is really cool. So, you know, um, I guess what I what I would say is that, you know, if you want to take this challenge and see what it's like to do in, in your system or work with JSON data in Snowflake using your own data, you know, let us know. We'd love to uh, take the challenge with you and, 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 and see if you can take advantage of this. So thanks a lot.